What's up, everyone? I'm with yeah, yeah. I'm with. I'm here with Transformers Prime Rumble. Um, obviously, it looks a little different because I put the Repro Labels um, decal cat on it, which makes I think look a hundred times better because the car was pretty blah. It was pretty much all blue except for the front grille was painted black, and I don't know. I think these kits just. This is a great kit. It really brings out the figure, in my opinion. Comes with two sheets. This is a sheet for all the decals to go on outside. Then comes with this big sheet, and uh, you get a couple options like for the thighs. Then you get to choose the character in color. Like one says Rumble, the other one says Frenzy, and this side says is red, and this one's blue. So I put Rumble is blue because pretty sure Rumble's the blue one. I don't know, whatever. Frenzy's the red one, right? Whatever, I don't know. Um, you get a couple different license plate um, to pick from. The one I put on him is Rumble, then you got one that says Frenzy, and then you got one that says Rubble Frenzy. Right? That's what it says. It looks like it says that. I don't know. No. R I B F I R. Whatever, I don't know. Um, I don't know why it gives you two Decepticon logos from the front. And two Decepticon logos for the back. And it gives you an extra crotch piece too for some reason. But whatever. And <clears throat> I didn't use these. These go in the barrels of the gun. I kind of painted the, my barrels. So I didn't use those. I really don't care. And mine's painted. Whatever. <clears throat> but yeah, that's pretty good stickers. Here. It's like 12 bucks, I believe. And it comes with stickers for the guns. Or the pile drivers, or whatever they're supposed to be. It's got an alt mode. You got your headlights. Get focused there. Headlights, Decepticon emblem, little design on the hood. It says side A up here. It's got your stickers back here, what you choose from, which mine says uh, Rumble's Blue. Um, on the side, it says type IV metal position, whatever that means. You got a nice uh, red lip that makes the wheels, the rims look bigger. Like I said, you got a Decepticon emblem that goes over Decepticon emblem in the front. You know, it looks shiny. On the back, you got tail lights, the license plate, another Decepticon emblem, and they give you stickers for the back window, which don't line up very good because I lined them up with the the cutouts right here, and they don't line up with them crease very well though but they're pretty good <clears throat> and that's it for car mode I'm gonna transform show you what he looks like in robot mode I'm not gonna go for the transformation so since I already did it in my other review so if you didn't see it I uh, don't know what to say <clears throat> a piece of shit And there he is in robot mode. Focus in, so you see. <clears throat> I think this kit like just brings out the figure so much more. I don't know, it's just not as blah looking as before. As you can see um it's got some detail on his chest. Right here. Got a subcom emblem. The uh, colors up a little bit of yellow with some more blue. You got some thigh stickers which you get to choose from you can either have them all purple like that or with the dots I chose the dots because um, the detailing on the leg has dots so that's what I chose <clears throat> little uh, stickers from the kneecaps that one kind of shifted and then you know the decal the decals that are on the hood you got some decals on the shoulders one says A the other one says MC60 
think that has to do with some kind of old school tape recording or something. I don't know what the hell that is, to tell you the truth. <clears throat> and I don't know if that was... I know it said something on the G1 figures on one side. I don't know if that's what it said. So if it did, that is pretty nice. But that is it for robot mode. But he still looks pretty nice with just those few little stickers, really. I don't know, like, with the rims and everything, it just looks a hell of a lot better. And I already like this figure. I think... Out of the two, he's better than Cup. That's just my opinion. And then with the guns in hand, are they going certain ways? <clears throat> or the drivers, whatever you want to call them. They look like guns to me, but they're pile drivers, uh, apparently. Um, that is that. <clears throat> and apparently, um, Cup and Rumble are the last two Prime figures for United States because after this it's going to be Transformers Prime uh, what's it Beast Hunters I believe so yeah these are the last two official regular Prime figures and after that it's all going to be Beast Hunter out which they are going to be releasing just um, I seen that Bumblebee was a first edition mold with a bunch of weapons they're going to release uh, I seen Soundwave was one of the characters with all different types of things but it, it just still looks like the regular R.I.D. figures with just a bunch of shit attached to them so I don't know how it's gonna work out but I did see uh, there was a dragon that's supposed to be Predaking and some other dudes which you know it's kinda cool I hope it turns out good and not shitty kinda disappointed that um we're not gonna get Smokescreen as his own mold. Takara will be released in Smokescreen, but Smokescreen, not Scream. But all he is is a redeco of Knockout, which is a shitty mold anyway. Like, it, it, it's not that great of a Knockout figure, so it's not gonna, it's gonna be a really shitty Smokescreen figure, in my opinion. I guess they got a bunch of redecos coming out though. But that's all they are. Three decos, no uh, new molds. So who gives a shit? This car just likes to juice people with remolds and recolors. It's just you no know, great. There goes the 360. But yeah, that is the Repro Label sticker kit for Transformers Prime IRD Rumble. Um, definitely pick it up if you have this figure. It's well worth it. I think it makes the figure look great. But that is my opinion. So that's what you should go buy. Take it easy.